J. Lewis has decided to make a fashion statement, um, because of course he did. J. was ranked 8th yeah. in the power rankings, suffered an unfortunate injury in May, a very gruesome ankle injury, and then decided, you know what, I think I'll participate in the World Championship anyway. Came in second, one of three to clear stage two. <laughs> this I am is a little just bit worried incredible. about his ankle on He's... this obstacle, though. Not anymore, I'm not. <laughs> Alex, when we're talking about a sub-30, this could be it. This is the fastest pace we have seen in by a Actually mile. Actually has to pull out the sword, but he could go right here. He does 28 seconds. Oh, my. Proving once again why he is a force to be reckoned with. Jay Lewis taking it out in a sub-30 time, dominating the rest of the competition here. That is the second fastest placement time we've seen this entire weekend out of any division. That is insane. He dominated. I'm... I wonder if he even skipped one of the rungs in the in the Lache Alley. He he really flew through that. Alex, I might leave the introductions to you for our final competitor. Sure thing. The last qualifying spot will either go to Evan LaValle or this man, Jay Lachey Lewis, the 2021 world champion, eighth in the power rankings, and as we alluded to earlier during his placement run, he was injured back in May, broke his ankle. He was cleared six days before Worlds, didn't train basically at all, and still finished in second <laughs> in the World Championship. That is how talented this young man is. Well, let's see how he fares. Of course, setting an incredible time in the placement course and now coming into the challenge course. As our last seated competitor, he knows what everyone else has done. He knows what he has to be, and he's going all out to achieve that. And he knows he has he's to go, go at full sprint at this point. That is part of the advantage of finishing first in the placement course. But on the other hand, I wonder if with this added urgency and added pressure, that might make him more prone to a mistake. But it doesn't look like it, it so far. It definitely far. could. But yeah, he's looking incredibly strong at the moment as he comes into the log run. Moving through, he's going to have to go for the boats. Links it. Yeah, the and now Area 53. Isn't even an option. Gets a running start. Probably needs to go on this swing. I think he's going to. He does. Catches the trapeze, up to the disc. Could this be our first sub-minute finisher? What power to that second disc! And quickly off of the third! We did it! <laughs> we got the sub-minute! And Jay Lewis wins Premier Series at Fair Rocks! What an outstanding run. Just consistently through. And then on Area 53, somehow accelerated it even more. He has done the impossible on both runs. Both a sub-30 sub and a sub-minute in the... In a, in a run that shouldn't be able to be done in a minute. He, he has gone and done it. it that is, is absolute absolutely, madness. Absolutely absurd. We're going to run out of adjectives to describe this run by Jay Lewis. Incredible Just, stuff. What power and technicality out of the young man that has been first and second in his last two <laughs> World Championship appearances, and he showed why on this course run. The pace at which he moved in that area 53 was the fastest we have seen by a mile. That, that is what made that run. That was absolutely incredible.